Hey, hey, what's up you guys? Gediminas here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today I wanted to talk a bit about leadership and negative behavior within your team. So if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. If you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, please do say new in the comments as well. Hey, Charlie, thanks for jumping on. Hope you're well. Uh, and if you get value from this video, feel free to share it. Maybe somebody else will get some value too. So the title of this video is why you should not put up with negative behavior if you're a leader. Now, you might say, well, you shouldn't put up with negative behavior either way. And you would be right, right? But actually, if you're a leader, why? Because if you're a leader of a team and you have many people in your team and there's somebody who um, behaves negatively, who is toxic, who uh, is demanding, who is uh, maybe complaining, who is maybe humiliating or criticizing or bullying other people in the team or you, right? If you as a leader put up with it, if somebody spits in your face and you just smile, you just go, yeah, yeah, yeah no problem, right? If you do that, not only you are humiliating yourself and you're reducing your own self-esteem, but also don't forget that your team members are observing you. And if they see that you as a leader put up with negative behavior, you allow negative behavior, then they will think, oh, so if I become a leader, I will also be dealing with this crap as well. And I will also going to have to allow this crap go on in my team. You understand what I'm saying? So the fastest way to make sure that you have no leaders in your team is to show your team members that leadership sucks. <laughs> if you put up with negative behavior, if you allow people to humiliate you, if you allow people to behave in toxic ways, then you're showing your team members that that's what leadership is all about. And guess how many of your team members will want to become a leader and deal with that crap on top of the crap they're already dealing with? Not that many, not that many, right? Most people will say, Phew, if that's what leadership is all about, I don't want to be a leader, right? So that's why, like Tony Robbins says, kill a monster while it's a baby. If you have somebody in your team who is a toxic person, who is causing uh, aggravation, who is negative to you or other people, who is criticizing, who is complaining and so on, you have to cut them loose as soon as possible. Now, you might still communicate with them one-on-one, -on -one, but you might have to remove them from your team groups. You might have to um, uh, forbid them from attending any team events, etc. if it comes to that, right? And I know it's not nice. I know it, it sucks when you have to make decisions like that, but it's for the greater good and it's to protect the rest of your team, to protect the, the culture within your team, to protect the energy within your team. Sometimes you will have to cut out some tumors from your team uh, by just saying, hey, look, it doesn't look like it's going to work out. You know, the, the, the way you behave and the way, you know, uh, I lead is just not going to click. You know, unfortunately, you're going to have to look, you know, for a new home. And sometimes that's what's going to ha happen, you know, but this is in the end, over long run, this is going to protect you, cause you less stress and increase amount of leaders that will become in your team. If you've been in network marketing for a while, uh, and I'm talking like maybe a year, couple of years, and there's not many leaders coming up in your team, there's not many people wishing to take, to do what you do, think about it. Maybe there is something that your team members are observing you doing which is causing them to say, oh, I don't want to be a leader. Oh, I, I wouldn't like that, right? So sometimes we actually stop our team members from becoming leaders by doing certain things that scare other people from becoming leaders too. So have a think about that too. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you got value. If you did, feel free to share it. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you at the top. Bye for now.